Hey everyone, welcome to Rachel Runs. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday break, but if you're anything like me, you probably overindulged, didn't work out quite as much, and possibly put on a few pounds. So now it's time to get back to work, and I thought what better way to start than with a full body workout. A few of you have requested this, so today we're gonna do a 15 minute head to toe workout. We're gonna do different moves that combine different parts of the body, so we're gonna get your upper body, your abs, and your lower body, as well as some cardio. For today's workout, you need some dumbbells. Um, I have some three, five, and eight pounds. Use whatever weight you're comfortable with. Beginners can do a lot of these moves without weights. Also have a bottle of water on hand, and each move is gonna be 60 seconds, 15 moves, so 15 minute total body workout. Now let's get started by warming up. Let's do some neck rolls, just alternating side to side. And how about some shoulder rolls to the back. And some big ones. And forward. And some big ones forward. And some toe taps with some alternating arm swings. And now some hip circles. We'll go in one direction. And now switch sides. You're pushing your hips all the way forward and all the way back. And now some side rotations. You might hear your back crack. That's totally fine. And now some knee circles. These get your joints warmed up. You're just making little circles with your knees in one direction. And now switch sides. Okay, so now you're gonna balance on one leg, bring your foot up and do foot circles. Five in one direction and then switch. Switch sides, get your balance, and five in this direction, and switch. And last thing, our toy soldier kicks. Opposite foot to hand. Just go as high as you can. All right, you should feel nice and loose and warmed up. So, like I said, 15 moves, 60 seconds each move for a total of a 15 minute head to toe workout. So grab a pair of dumbbells. Start whatever weight you're comfortable with. My beginners can start with no weights. We're just gonna do step touches with shoulder raises. So you're gonna do step touches like this and you're gonna add shoulder raise. When you're doing your shoulder raise, keep it at shoulder height, don't go way up here. All right, 60 seconds, let's begin. No need to rush through, go at your own pace. And like I said, my beginners can start with no weight and you work your way up to whatever weight feels comfortable for you. Today, I'm going a little bit lighter in the weight. That way I can talk to you guys without sounding like a complete disaster. This is a great move to get your shoulders warmed up and to keep your heart rate 
getting warmed up after that warm up. A little bit more. And remember, keep a slight bend in your elbows as well. All right. Next move is going to be a reverse lunge with a dumbbell rotation. Grab one weight, or you can also use a kettlebell. Choice is yours. You're going to be doing a reverse lunge like this, and you're going to push your weight out, twist to the side, and back. You're going to be alternating with your lunges. 60 seconds, no break. Take a deep breath and let's begin. My beginners can use no weight. So this move is working your glutes obviously with the lunge. But you're also working your chest by holding the weight out. And finally, you're getting a nice little ab workout with the rotation. Keep it up, guys. Last one, nice job. So our next move is gonna be down on the ground. We're gonna be doing a glute bridge with a skull crusher. Grab a single dumbbell or a kettlebell. You're gonna be doing a glute bridge on your back. Many of you know this move. Your weight is gonna be in your heels and you're gonna be thrusting your hips up as high as they go. Now we're gonna be adding in a skull crusher to make this a more dynamic movement. So I'm using a kettlebell, but you can also use a single dumbbell. You're gonna be lifting your arms overhead. Keep your elbow in line with your shoulder and lift back and do a tricep extension. We're gonna be doing this move, combining the hip thrust and the tricep extension together at the same time, 60 seconds, let's begin. Couple things to keep in mind. Keep the weight in your heels. That ensures that you're working your butt. And keep your arms nice and steady. You want to do your best to keep your elbows in line with your shoulders. Form is really important. Prevents injury and it just makes sure that you're actually getting a good workout. One more guys, last one. All right, good job guys. All right, our next move is gonna be another cardio move. Grab a light pair of dumbbells. We're gonna be doing a side shuffle with punches. So you're gonna do one shuffle to the side and punch starting in the direction that you shuffled to. Do three alternating punches and then shuffle to the other side, three alternating punches. My beginners can just step, step. All right, so keep your weights right up here at your shoulders. 60 seconds, let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three.
when you're doing these punches, just don't throw your arms too hard since you do have weights in your arms. And keep your abs engaged as well. That twist kind of gives your abs a little extra of a bit of a workout. You can keep a little bend in your knees when you're doing the punches. Kind of increases your range of motion. All right, good job guys. All right, we're gonna be going back down to the ground for chest flies with leg dips. So you're gonna be doing a normal chest fly. Lean back, make sure you have your weights in your hands before you lean back. Now your normal chest fly, you have a slight bend in your elbows and you go out. Now, I want you to lift your legs in the air. Beginners, you can leave your legs in the air. If you feel up to it, I want you to lower one leg down when you do a chest fly. Now, I keep my legs bent personally because it protects my lower back. If you feel stronger, you can keep your legs perfectly straight but do what feels comfortable for you. All right, 60 seconds, let's go. This move is working both your chest and your abs. A couple things to keep in mind for your form. Keep a slight bend in your elbows. Keep your abs engaged and nice and tight. You want to make sure you protect that lower back. All right, nice job, guys. Put your weights down. Come on up. Let's keep this going. Our next move is going to be a bent over row with leg raises. So grab a pair of dumbbells, and I'll show you from the side. We're going to be bent over. We're going to do 30 seconds on each side. So for the first 30 seconds, I want your, the inside of your wrists facing out. I want you bent over and I want your row to be like this. I want your dumbbells to come right to the tops of your ribs. And as you're doing that, I want you balancing on one leg and lifting up. Now when we switch to the other side, I want you to flip your arms and do a normal row with the leg raise. So 30 seconds on each side, I'm going to face forward. Get in your starting position, find your balance, have your wrists facing out, and let's begin. Now I beginners, maybe you just balance on one leg, or you only lift your foot a little bit off the ground. This is a tough move. It's easy to lose your balance. All right, let's switch sides. Find your balance, turn your wrists, and let's go. And I want you to be looking down at the ground. That'll help you with maintaining your balance. This is a little bit of a tougher move. You're gonna have to work your way up to it. Last one. Good job. All right, we're gonna do another cardio combination move. You're gonna need one dumbbell. So we're gonna be jogging and then we're gonna do an overhead raise with the dumbbell. So 
for my beginners, just do a regular march while lifting it overhead. All right, 60 seconds, let's begin. Get your jog started. I want your heels to hit your butt. Now let's get the dumbbell involved. Up. When I'm incorporating weights with my cardio, I like to use a little bit of a lighter weight. It just keeps it a little bit safer, prevents injury and any kind of muscle overexertion. You don't need to go real heavy for this. Almost there, guys. Great job. Nice job, guys. All right, we're gonna do calf raises and shoulder shrugs. This is a simple move. It lets you catch your breath. You're just gonna do a calf raise, and when you come down, shrug your shoulders. You're gonna work this muscle right in here and your calves. 60 seconds, let's go. This is a great move to do after that little burst of cardio. Let your heart rate come down nice and easy since we're still moving, but we're still working out at the same time. You can go a little heavier on the weight for this too since you're just shrugging your shoulders up. It's a pretty simple move. So you can go ahead and pick a heavier pair of weights if you have them. Last one. All right, guys, we're gonna head back down to the ground for some ab rotations with your dumbbells. So we're gonna do ab rotations or Russian twists as they're also called. You're gonna go ahead and do four Russian twists and then you're gonna lift overhead and kick your feet out. My beginners, you can keep your feet on the ground the whole time and then just lean back and lift up. All right, 60 seconds, lift your feet up and let's begin. Two, three, four, and then up and out. One, two, three, four, up and out. This is mostly an ab movement, but you are getting a little bit of shoulder work. And you might also feel your quads burning from kicking your legs out like that. That's just a little added bonus. Keep it going. Last one, guys. We're gonna go ahead and do another cardio move with weights. It's gonna be a jumping jack with a dumbbell. So go ahead and grab a light weight. Like I said, when I'm doing cardio with weights, I wanna keep the weight light, it just prevents injury. So you're gonna be doing a normal jumping jack with your feet. With your arms though, I want you to push the weight out in front of you. So when you jump out, I want the weight out in front of you and back in. For my beginners to modify, you can just tap out to the side and lift the weight out like that. All right, 60 seconds. Take a nice deep breath and let's begin. Out, in, out, in.
Beginners can also use no weights. You're still gonna get a great workout. more guys we're almost there nice job guys all right guys we're gonna take it back down to the ground for another glute move so you're just gonna need one dumbbell for this move we're gonna be doing a glute leg raise like that, or at the same time, I want you to row your arm. Now, I want you to keep your shoulders and wrists aligned. We're gonna do 30 seconds on each side and then switch, no break in between. Take a deep breath and let's go. This is another great combination move. You're working your glutes, your back, and a little abs. All right, let's switch sides. Roll the elbow to the other hand, switch legs, and let's begin. Last one, guys. Great job. All right, so you're gonna need both your dumbbells for this. You're gonna get into a squat position. I would say keep your legs about whole uh, hip to shoulder width apart. You're gonna go down into a normal squat, your glutes back, weight in heels. You're gonna come up and you're gonna row, and at the same time, do a lateral leg lift. We're gonna do alternating leg lifts, 60 seconds. Take a deep breath and let's begin. I want you to use good form on this. Keep the weight in your heels and make sure your knees aren't going over your toes. We're working shoulders, glutes, and our outer thighs and glute medius. Almost there, guys. Last one. Great job. All right, guys, we have our last cardio move. Let's grab a pair of dumbbells. We're gonna be doing a modified burpee with mountain climbers and then a shoulder raise. I'll show you what it looks like. So, feet hip width apart. You're gonna come down, dumbbells to the ground, and you're gonna walk out rather than jumping out like you would with the traditional burpee. Four mountain climbers, walk back in, stand up, and do a shoulder raise. All right, 60 seconds. Take a deep breath and let's do this. Beginners, you can use no weights or just a very light weight.
when you're coming back up, I want your weight in your heels. That's going to protect your back when you're coming up with those dumbbells. Almost there, guys. Last one. Nice job. All right, guys, so keep those dumbbells in your hands. We're gonna need them for our next move. We're gonna be doing plie squats with side dips and a leg slide. It sounds a little complicated, but let me show you. So you're gonna get out into a plie position and you're gonna squat down. Now, the most important thing is keeping your back as tall as you can. You don't wanna be hunched forward. You really wanna be straight up. Don't worry about your knees going out over your toes. That's okay when you're in this move. You're gonna do four alternating side dips. And then you're gonna slide up to one direction. You're gonna step out with that same foot. Four alternating side dips. Slide up to the other direction. We're gonna keep alternating like that for 60 seconds. Take a deep breath. We're almost there, guys. Let's go. Slide up. This move is a little tricky and it feels a little bit awkward, but once you get into the flow of it, it makes sense. You're working your inner thighs, especially when you come up on this slide you'll feel that the floor kind of creates a natural resistance. And then you're really also gonna feel that crunch when you're doing those side dips. Do your best to keep your back nice and tall. We're almost there, guys. Last one. All right, guys, we're almost done. One more move. So drop one of your dumbbells. You're only going to need one. These are standing oblique crunches. You're going to balance on one leg, take the dumbbell over your head. And you're just going to crunch to the side like that. We're going to do 30 seconds on each side. Take a deep breath and get that dumbbell overhead. Let's begin. Bend your knee a little bit just to maintain your balance. And we're gonna switch right to the other side at the 30 second mark. No breaks. Let's finish this workout out nice and strong. All right guys, other side. Last 30 seconds. Let's do this. Feel that crunch in your obliques? You're gonna feel it tomorrow for sure. Almost there, guys. All right, guys. And that is your 15 minute total body workout. We worked out our upper body, our abs, our lower body, and we certainly got our heart rates up with plenty of cardio. I suggest doing this workout at least twice a week, and you're really gonna start to see results. Thanks for joining me, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to Rachel's Runs, and please feel free to post any comments with feedback or advice or anything else you'd like to see in our videos. Thanks, guys. Go, 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 go